What's going on guys? Jimmy here again with One Road. Today I'm going to be unboxing a new addition to my shop and that is this rigid wet dry vac that you see behind me. So I've really been needing a full-sized, extremely powerful vacuum for a long time. I've only ever had this guy that I bought from Costco a while back and it served me well, but this thing is a 2.8 horsepower peak and I don't even know what the capacity is, but you know, it, it's loud and it's obnoxious and it's small, but you know, it served me well, like I said. But I've always kind of needed and wanted a bigger, more powerful and more professional wet dry vac. I started doing my research and I came across this rigid unit on Home Depot's website. I'll put a link down in the description below this video. Now the thing that intrigued me about this unit was that it not only was a 14 gallon, six horsepower professional unit, it also comes with a full lifetime warranty. And to top it off, it comes with this free auto detail kit, which to buy this by itself, you're paying, I guess, 40 bucks. Now this hose that it comes with is a 10 foot higher quality hose, along with all the professional auto detailing attachments that you might need to vacuum and clean your car. So now that you've seen the box, let's rip that sucker open. All right, guys, let's get into this. We have, oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. Okay, so this is an attachment holder. I guess. Uh, wow. Here is uh, the, wow, this, this looks nice. This is some nice hose, man. Never thought I'd say that in my life, but hey, just said it. And, okay, we got some attachments here that are just kind of chilling off to the side. Wow, rubber tipped, uh, piece there. Wow, lots of, lots of pieces. Let's not forget, each one of those things probably cost, you know, anywhere from five to ten dollars, possibly even more if you bought them separately. Here is the unit. Look at this. Wow, I gotta say this, this stuff feels like high quality plastic. I mean, really it does. Okay guys, so I'm guessing there's got to be more stuff inside this thing. So let's open this up. By the way, this cord, I'll have to read the spec on this cord, but I think it's extremely long. Let's open this up. Oh yeah, look at that. You guys see that? Look at that nice filter. Set this in the box for now. And uh, oh, look at that. More hose. So this is the actual hose that would come with the vacuum. Um, and that orange one is the, the extra hose that we're getting here, the extra value, if you will. Uh, more attachments. More connections, more pieces. Um, another kind of car attachment here. Okay, you got some instructions, some papers, and some casters. Okay guys, so here is the unit itself. Um, you can see how big this barrel is. It's actually, it's pretty big. So 14 gallons, that's a lot of uh, capacity. I'm never gonna need all that, I hope. Uh, but of course with the normal vacuum if you bought the same vacuum itself You'd get this uh, black hose, which is pretty standard. I'd, I'd say um, for a, like a, a, a wet dry vac um, I keep wanting to say shop vac, but I know shop vac is an actual brand in itself um, Then it comes with is this 10 foot section of this orange hose, which this stuff is actually um, pretty expensive, you know hose costs some money and it's a little bit thinner um, in diameter and you can see that it's um, a little bit specialized also in terms of like what attachments can go on the end here. Lots of attachments. We have this guy here. Some sort of car attachment, right? We also have this guy here, which is rubberized. This end here is rubberized, which is kind of cool. All right, guys, you can see I put some of the casters on. I put two of them on. I just wanted to show you how um, they, it seems kind of hard at first, but really it's not. Okay, so you take some of the casters, pop them out of the bag. Right, so there's kind of a little nipple on the end. Instead of just pressing straight in, what you're going to do is actually wiggle it as you're pressing it straight in and it just pops in. 
hopefully. Let's see. Oh, okay, that one went in. Still is a little bit hard, have to admit. But hopefully that means that these aren't going to be coming out. Oh, goodness. Okay, come on, baby. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. There's uh, some extensions there that, uh, let's call them nipples again, <laughs> that go into some holes right here. And of course, you just line it up and press her on in. Just like that. And yeah, and that sucker's in there. All right guys, so let's go ahead and attach this orange hose. You can see that it's got a little clip on it and that actually clips on to here. So just push it in and you're golden. That's on. And you just take the hose and wrap her around just like that. Just found something that sucks, okay? I went to go test fit all the uh, pieces that are meant for this hose. And of course, I'm like, why is this not fitting tightly? Well, uh, look, it's actually broken. That is awesome to get a piece straight out of the box and it's, and it's broken. You know, for example, these ones uh, fit nice and tight like they should. Uh, th this actually spins around, which is cool but the, the attachments themselves fit good. So one thing that's kind of cool I wanted to show you is this piece here that I was wondering what the heck it was. You can actually use this as a coupling to attach both hoses together and create one extremely long hose. I believe this black hose is seven feet and this um, orange one is 10. So you're looking at about 17 foot of hose. So that's pretty cool. So I'm sure you're wondering what this thing sounds like and how it performs. This is gonna be loud. Very loud. Wow. For some reason, it's got a high-pitched whining sound to it. Not sure what that's all about. Let's go ahead and get some of this dirt. Other than that high pitched sound, I'm not sure what that is, if that's the hose and just like a suction sound, or if that's actually coming from the motor, because if that's coming from the motor, I'm not gonna like that. That is really, really loud for my ears. So what I'm gonna do then is switch the hoses and we'll see if that sound persists. If it does, we'll know that there might be something wrong with this unit. Um, I don't think so, but let's just test that. Okay, so I got the black hose on. Let's go ahead and flip her on. And what do you know? There's no sound. Well, no high pitch sound. Obviously you can hear the vacuum. But man, that is a very, very quiet and muffled sound. I hope you guys can pick that up. Plenty of suction coming out of the black hose. Let's get some dirt here for you. All right guys, so that was my first uh, vacuum unboxing. I hope I did it justice. Um, this thing seems like a great unit. The model number on this thing is WD1451. Again, I'll put a link down in the description below this video so you guys can check this thing out on Home Depot's website. I'm gonna have to figure out what that whining sound is from the orange hose. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the thing was really, really quiet. Of course, it's plenty powerful and it should be everything that I need to do anything I need to do around the house, whether it's vacuuming out the cars, vacuuming up the garage, 
or doing odd jobs inside the house. All right guys, I'm Jimmy again here with One Road and if you like this video, I urge you please hit the thumbs up for me. It really helps out. Hit the subscribe button if you like to subscribe to my channel. And also if you are subscribed or you're a new subscriber, there's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. And what that does is it alerts you when I upload videos. See, YouTube's changed things recently and just because you're subscribed to someone doesn't mean you're gonna be notified that they've uploaded videos. I think it has something to do with spamming people and stuff like that who subscribe to I don't know 50 or 100 different people but in this case if you would like to be notified when I do upload new videos you got to have that bell icon clicked and that way YouTube will notify you hey one road just uploaded a new video and yada 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 all right guys thanks again for watching I hope you enjoyed this and it helped somewhat peace out I'll see you in the next one